Hey, thanks for choosing to watch this video. I hope you won't regret it. I recently went to Hong Kong, so I wanted to show off some of the stuff I got, namely some Pokemon cards as well as some other bonus goodies. I have a total of 4 packs. The first two are from Future Flash and Ancient Roar, the Japanese versions of the Paradox Rift expansion set. The second one is Night Wanderer, which is the Japanese version of the Shrouded Fable set. And this last one is Violet EX, which is from the original Scarlet and Violet base set. Uh, that one isn't actually from Hong Kong, we just got it locally, and I thought I might as well include it. It's also the first pack that I'm opening that's actually Japanese and not English or Chinese. Uh, the first three packs are Chinese though. Real quick, the video quality is going to be very bad, I'm sorry for that. This isn't my usual setup and my camera isn't focusing for some reason. So I'll just put up some photos for your viewing pleasure. I didn't notice but apparently the recent Japanese expansion packs, and I guess by extension the Chinese ones too, only have 5 cards in them. Because of this they are much cheaper but they also don't have any energy cards. Okay, so this is the Ancient Roar pack. I'm pretty happy with it because I got some Gen 5 mons and Gen 5 is my favorite because it was the first mainline game that I played. Hey, real quick, if you noticed anything different, I got a new mic. It was pretty cheap, but I hope it still sounds good. I will be using this to record future voiceovers. This is the future flashback. I especially like the Espathra card. It looks quite nice. I also really like this Simipore. Normally, Simipore looks kinda ugly to me, but I have to say, I really like the artwork on this one. Next is the Violet EX pack. I actually meant to open this one last, but I guess I forgot. Anyway, the card art is always quite nice, even on the basic cards, so I'm happy even if I don't get any uh, quote-unquote valuable pulls. I somehow didn't notice it until much later when I was organizing all of the cards, but the backs of the Japanese cards are different. I'm not sure if this is just because they're Japanese or maybe there's something special with the set, so if anyone can tell me, I'd love to know. Um, this final pack is the Night Wanderer pack. Nothing too crazy. I got a mysterious purple object. Quite nice. But that's not all. I also have this Pokemon Aqua Bottle figurine by Rement. I just picked a design at random and I ended up with the melodic one. Honestly all of the designs are really pretty, though I really don't know about having a Vaporeon in a jar on my desk. Anyway, I had to assemble it myself and it took a while because trying to insert the things in each other was an incredibly scary process. I'm just glad nothing broke. The figurine even comes with its own stand. I do really like all the details, it's quite pretty. Uh, not much else to say. Hello, quick update. I also got these Battle Cats gummies from Hong Kong. I'm not sure what the packaging says. I'll translate it uh, later. But it, the bottoms of the... The bottom of the bags have these mangas drawn by someone who I'm sure is famous probably. Uh, I'll show the high res scans and translations soon. I'll open these. Hold on. Okay, so I just opened them. They got some gummies inside. It's mostly air, but it smells really good. Now I'm gonna try one and focus on that. Wow. Crazed cat. Isn't that awesome? Very good. That's a cat. These are very good. So yeah, yeah, awesome.